Hey guys, Brett here. Welcome back to the channel. And finally, finally I can say welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. It has arrived. I'm a little bit late getting in my first video, but that's because I'm on night shift. But um, it's finally, finally here. So, this is a tutorial at the moment. So, greetings. Welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. See the new fully unlocked garage and check the operation of various parts of the workshop. At any time you can finish your tutorial by taking the car for a test drive. Good luck. Okay. So, graphics are pretty bloody good. So I'm not sure what we're supposed to be doing as far as tutorial-wise, but... Okay, click to use. Okay, to put it back on. Right-click will bring up an inventory. Car status. Switched into interior disassemble mode. Okay, that's interesting. Switch to assemble mode. Move the car. Overview mode, tablet, and parts notes. So I'll put that back on. I don't think we really need that doing so. The oil drain allows disposal of used oil. Failure to use it can result in additional charges of cleaning spilled oil. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm not sure what that is, but it's not locked. It's locked, so. Um, toolbox. You can make improvements that you obtain together. With gaining further levels. Okay, cool. Um, obviously, this car looks a bit rusty. It needs to be fixed up. Um, anything else around here we can click on? Computer. Using a computer, you can obtain new parts. Okay, awesome. Radio. We can turn on music. Obviously, I've got music turned off to avoid getting any um, copyright strikes. So, repair table gives you a chance to repair worn out parts. Okay, sweet. I thought we would eventually have to unlock um, path test. Yep, that was in Car Mechanic Simulator 15, which is good news. Now we can now do tire changer and wheel balancer. That is awesome. That's a huge addition. That is something that's going to be extremely fun. So main gate map. Using the map, you can choose where you want to drive. Select the test track to test the auto. I think it means to test the car anyway. Used to remove the entire engine from the vehicle. Awesome. So now I've actually got an engine crane instead of it just dropping out magically. Um, what's this here? Parts warehouse. So we store all our parts. Cool. So they must be limited size. That is pretty good as well. Um, what can here be the paint booth. Yeah. Cool. And that will be the dyno, no doubt, of course, in there. So we have a look in here. This will be like our little office with extra computers. So upstairs, we watch TV, have a bit of a sleep on our lunch break. Right, yeah, let's um, I think to finish your tutorial, we need to go through here. So cars. Car salon, your garage, parking, junkyard, test track, car auctions, racetrack. Can we go to our garage? Oh, let's go to a test track. Um, drive the main. Be good if they managed to get official cars and you know proper names, that sort of stuff. But you know we know that stuff doesn't really make a big difference. So. So this is used to check the performance of the car, test the car's steering, suspension and braking. Change the camera, we can. So three different cameras. Awesome. Acceleration test. Slalom test, of course. Oops. There's a the customer's car. Already smashed it. Suspension test with blue, yeah. Brakes test is it this way or we have to go left? Oops. There's a park right there. Space park. 
Next tutorial start game, yes, of course, that's what we want to do, guys. Hopefully this sounds not too bad. I'm pretty pumped to finally get this game. Finally. Okay, so this is our workshop. So we've got parking garage, main gate, toolbox, wheel balances, another toolbox. This is all we've got, we've got nothing. So we're starting with the very basics. Got obviously our benches over here, another toolbox, engine crane. That's not the engine crane, can't be, that's like where you hold the engine. I don't know if we even have an engine crane. A spring puller. Oh, that's interesting. Another toolbox, we've got the oil drain. Um, okay, so how do we take a job? That's the question. It's interior, license plate, tire shop, rim shop, main shop, body shop, all that stuff there. Okay. Need to work out how I can take a job. So toolbox, this is all the stuff we can unlock. Heaps of different stuff there, which is good news. So we need to unlock screwing and unscrewing. So 50% part examination, we can unlock that. Do we not have points? I thought we had points. Okay, maybe we don't. So we've got two jobs available. If I can work out where our phone is. Click to use. probably already seen it and these are probably quote face palming there it is okay so there's an repair orders for an emdom lots break problems list provided take order thank you Get this bad boy in here it is it's more than just break problems by the look of it some body issues as well right click and we can go move car to parking garage and car lifter A. Okay, good, we need to lift it up. We can open parts notes. Add part to notebook. Oh okay. Delete list from notebook, that's pretty cool. Go back, where are we? Car status. So two brakes, ABS module, and a brake disc. Okay, so pop this up. So the ABS module will be there. So we can hold left click to take this off. That's that done. Right click, can we go? Examine mode, examine tools, no. Add to list. Okay, what if we click on that? What's parts notes? We don't want an ABS pump. That's actually pretty good. I really enjoy that. That's all well, not enjoy it, but I really like that, so will be um, an easier way to be able to replace stuff. So we need an ABS module, not an ABS pump. So we need to buy that. We need to right click and go to part mount. ABS module. We need to obviously fit our new one. So we started with four grand, so we'll see how much we've got left once we finish this job, see how much money we're actually gonna make. Okay, so then we need to lift this back up again. So quick look. Calipers go okay on the front, are they rear calipers? So I'm not exactly sure which ones need to be done. Um 
before I click let's go overview mode oops that one needs to I don't know why it keeps disappearing the right front needs to be done left rear needs to be done okay let's take the rim off Much better. Proof the sound and everything. That's good news. Put the tire off. So now I've got to take the caliper off. Brake pads off. Brake disc off. Then we need to go to the left front. This off now. Uh, brake caliper can go as well. So we need two calipers and two brake discs. So let's quickly go to our, our inventory. So we've replaced that. We need a brake caliper, two calipers, a brake disc. So that's it. Two calipers and a brake disc. Um, two, yeah, two calipers and a brake disc. There we go. Okay. We need to go into here, so we need. Wow, there's lots of parts in here. So, one brake disc, two brake calipers. I could have actually amount two there, but anyway. So, 3,080. That's how much money we've got left. So we need to, I wonder if there's a, a way to quickly switch between um, taking off and putting back on. It'd be better if there was, but I don't think there is. Um, there's better brake pads on the front, why not? Put brand new caliper on, brake caliper cylinder. Yeah, so that's actually good. You can actually um, have to install the cylinders inside the calipers this time. Same as that, you can see you can put the tyres and rims on. So we can um, change what sort of tyres we have on. I keep holding the button in instead of just clicking it. Um, so brake disc for the rear. I want the new one. Wow, I can't see anything because of that reflection of all that chrome. Um, brake pads, brake caliper, and brake caliper cylinder, yes. That's a bit overdone there, that chrome there, but anyway. So that's going to go back on the rim. Well, it's not too loud for you guys. Um, That will lower it back down. I'll quickly just reduce the um, in game sound a little bit just in case it's too loud. Okay, so if we go right click, car status, pyramidal parts conditions 59%, no bonus, it's a standard order, $920 spent, 13 to 78 payout. So we got $458, so we didn't get a great deal for that, but can't complain at all. So now we've got a Katagiri Katsumoto. A year and a half ago, I brought my son this car. He said that he's not interested in anything except filling it up with gas, with filling it up at the gas station. Please check the oil and the tires. Okay, take order. I'll have to I'll see you straight away. Move the car to lift up. Pop the hood. Uh, let's have a look. Um, check the dipstick. It's got no oil in it at all. 
Okay, so quickly check car status. So it wants an air filter, a fuel filter, and four tyres. So an air filter, that one. Um, fuel filter. Okay, we go back to home. We don't remember you want tyres, want standard tyre. Wow, you can change size and everything. Okay, we won't do that yet because I have no idea what size they actually are. Anyway, let's get in here. Take off these clips. Oops, click on the clip, not there. Cover itself. It, get the cover off, get the air filter out, put in the new one, yep, oops, wrong one, the cover back on, clips back on, so she's good to go, Fuel filter. Is it up here? There it is. So we need to unmount the fuel filter, remount it, new one on. So she didn't say anything about it. Well, she said she wanted us to check it out, but I wonder if it does the same as last time. Just start to put it in and you'll see it. Splashing. There we go. We'll see how that is. Now, quickly. Oh, dipstick. Needs a little bit more. There we go. Now, hopefully, that's not overfilled. Perfect. So now we need to I wonder if we have to actually Awesome, we're gonna have to lift it the whole way up. So hopefully you guys can still hear me okay. This is a noisy part obviously. Looks like he's got more issues than just tires. Like me, he needs to wash his bloody car, get rid of all this rust and dirt and stuff. Needs nearly, nearly needs new brake discs on the front, but anyway. Which I wonder if we can have a quick look. Can you actually notice? How bad these tyres are. Does it look like they've got no tread? Yeah, I guess it does look a little bit low, so we'll have to wait till we put new tyres on. Right, uh, now it looks like we're going to get to use this machine finally. Where is it? Here it is. Tyre change up. So we want to separate parts, install parts. So we want to separate these. That is pretty cool. We don't have to press any buttons, but it is awesome the way it works. So take parts, okay, and then we need to separate parts again. Quickly go to inventory. So it's 205-55-16s. Okay, so we need standard tire B. 205, 55, 16s, we want four of those, wow, that's a lot of money, thousand dollars for tyres, still cheaper than the tyres I bloody pay for, that's for sure, get these ones off as well, wheel balancer, which will be pretty cool, let's look at our toolbox, 
We're not up a level yet. We're 150, 307. We don't get one point for each thing we do. Take off. Well, I don't think so. Not with tyre changing anyway. I haven't actually had a look. So now let's go store parts. This. Um, get that with a brand new tyre. Awesome. Let's go to that. Brand new tyre. We do two things at once. Balance the wheel. This one. Ah, it's awesome. Oops. We don't want that. We want to put them together. That and that. There's no info on the screen, which is a little bit of a shame. It'll be interesting if they added just that little bit extra. that done. We'll balance that. We'll take one off. Put another one on. So that means it's unbalanced, I believe. Take that off. So while that's going, we can come back over here. We can add our balance tyres. Yep. Does actually look like there's more tread on that one. It's actually pretty cool. All right, so let's take this one off. Balance this one. Go back around. Keep holding the body button in. Um, hold the button in that time. Put this one on. Balance. Obviously, we can't put them on unless they're balanced, which is good. two tyres on. We did actually, we got two points for that, so we're obviously we still get points for um, putting parts on, taking parts off, experience points I mean, so that's good. I'm actually pretty impressed so far. do is quickly grab a screenshot while we're here for our thumbnail of course that should be this car done beautiful Right click, car status. Yeah, so air filter, fuel filter's done. Standard tyres are all done. Engine value, 5515. So that's pretty cool. Let's so got the mileage, current colour, factory colour, um, body condition, general parts, power curve, torque curve, change oil, and train with new. Okay, we haven't done that, but we did put new oil in it. Yeah, bugger. He had no oil in it anyway. Radio. Guess we better do that. Oil drain. Move equipment under. Car lifter A. Uh, we don't want to go suspension. We want to take. Can we click on. No. Okay, maybe we have to click on this. Use equipment. There we go. Okay, we can move equipment back. Wire it down. So there's no there's no button here to actually get rid of the oil. So I'll take the plug off. Fill it up now. She's full. It costs us $20, so we've 
had to do that twice now. So the job is complete. Total payment two thousand one hundred seventy one dollars. Wow. No, no bonus in story. Or, it's a story order, I think. Yep. So they're both done. Finish order. It's five thousand three hundred ninety one dollars now. Still haven't gone up another level yet. Let's um see what else we can do here. So we can go to the junkyard. Car salon. Maybe we can't go there yet. Hmm, okay. Or the car actually race track. We might need to have to unlock that, so let's quickly look at a toolbox. Um expand your garage. Tire tread tester, that's pretty cool. Um expands our garage again. Level four. Okay, that's like welding level five, level six. Um, cheaper, cheaper trips to junkyard and barn finds. Okay, that's awesome. So that's where we can actually go and um, find cars for us to fix up and sell. So I can't wait till we get to that point, guys. That's going to be pretty awesome. So um, let me just quickly look at the time. I've got a little bit of time, so I might grab one more car. It's a Mayan M3. It's only got, oh, so it's, it's timed. It's a timed um, order. Okay, how about we decline this one? That's a normal order as well. No bonus, normal order. Okay, let's take this one. I thought it might have been another story order. Um, there's not. That front bar needs to be painted. Car looks bloody terrible. Uh, move car to the lifter. Rebar is terrible too. Let's quickly look at status, caliper, disc, and disc ventilated. Okay, so let's go back home. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> Missed the first needs, but I got the second one. So, caliper, disc, disc ventilated. So, lift him up. Lift him up completely. That's the phone going. So, caliper. One of these discs needs to be replaced. I'd say it's this one. This one looks worse than the other one. So they need, they really need to implement um, like shortcuts for disassembly and assembly. You know, one should press the one button, it should be disassemble, press two, it should be assemble. Do like now, instead of having to right click and go assemble. Oops, didn't need to right click that time. I didn't need um, no, I keep right clicking again. 49%, let's have a look. Anything lower than 41%, okay, so. That's 49%, so we'll fit that one. And that, yes, that's fine. Classic rims going back on. Cool. Let's go and look at this side now. So that caliper might be the one that needs to go. Oh, we need to unmount. It's going to be easier to have like a, a hot key to go to unmount. So the caliper. So I put the wrong disc on. I bet you any money I did. actually tell you. Examine mode. 49% so that should be okay. Part mount. 
scalper was 12%, so that's the one we need. Put the rim back on. Now, I want to double check before we start going to the rear end. Yes, this needs a break disc. So let's go to the back end. Can't really see it, to be honest. Let's go to examine mode. Can we see the disc in through here? It just says conditions unknown, question mark. But it's yellow, so let's go to this side. Yeah, that's red. Okay, there we go. We know 8%. So, um, we don't want that. Take this off. Sorry guys, I'm still trying to work out how this game works. Pretty similar to the last car mechanic simulator, but there'll be a little bit of, a few small changes I suppose. Ah, uh, part mount. New brake disc, of course. Oops, wrong button again. I'll get used to it eventually. Pads, caliper, and the cylinder, yes, 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 yes. No, we want room classic. It'd be good to be able to also change it so you've got like a Every time you click on something like this, you'd be a certain distance away from it. So to being this close, should be like a certain. Yeah, that'll be much better, I think, as well. So there's a couple of other jobs. There's a normal order. Poor brake performance. Lists provided. Let's decline that. Let's do something different. Braking system. They're all braking systems for now. Let's go car status. All done, $367 payout. Here comes another order. Can we go? Where's. I figured we would have like a part storage area. Maybe not. So that's tire storage, but. Right, if we go to inventory, can we sell things? Oh, yeah, there we go, we can sell things. Yeah, get rid of all that stuff. We don't need it. Good news. Obviously, we don't have a great deal of money early on. So what I really want to look at is when can we start going and um, buying stuff from the junkyard and stuff like barn finds. That's what I want to know. So you got to pay for parking. Okay, that's cool. Um, it's good to be lucky. I don't know what that means, but anyway. So yeah, it'd be, be good to find out if there's a way we can work out how to um, how long it's going to take for us to get to the barnyard. Anyway, so we're going to unlock 50% faster screwing and unscrewing. We can reset points. So that's pretty cool. We go back in and still reset. You can, okay. So you can sort of go to one path, and if you don't like it, you can go back and change again. So that's good news. Um, it's a story order. I read in the newspaper that the timing should be replaced more frequently than recommended by the manufacturer. The oil too. Please check them and change whatever is needed. Okay. Quickly get in and get this done. We'll call that the end of our first episode. So move the car to the lift up. Pop the hood, of course. Let's have a look. Wow. Okay. Drain oil and fill with new one. Okay, we can do that quickly. Move equipment. I'll lift to A. We can use equipment. We can move it. 
back. Lower him back down. And I quickly want to check. Oop. So anything below... 100% we need to repair everything to. Okay, so... We need to go in here. Do our um, oil first. Sorry guys, had to cough. Mute you guys again. Looks like the... Um, that's done. Looks like the ignition coils need to come off. Yep, four ignition coils. Engine head come up. So you need timing change as well. So the spark plugs might be a bit dodgy. Ooh, looks like um, camshafts need to be replaced as well. So to get this off, we need to take that, that, and that off. So we need to take separate time belt off. Belt tensioner off. Serpentine belt B, water pump. So in real life, this will be a very bloody expensive job taking all this stuff off. Nothing else needs to come off. No, good. So we're gonna have to take um, timing belt off, cam gears. Gonna have to take. Camshafts. That should be it. So two cam gears, two camshafts, and four ignition coils. I haven't got the tablet yet. Okay, cool. Two camshafts, two cam gears, four ignition coils. So cam, two of those, two standard camshafts. And ignition. Four ignition coils. Oh, not five, four. There we go. Awesome. Oh, yeah, and head back on. Part mount. We need to put, not the engine head, camshafts straight in. Cam gears. Which really, in my opinion, should bolt to it, shouldn't it? Can't just sit there, anyway. The Tommy belt cover, go on. So the engine head cover. Might as well do the ignition coils while we're here, I suppose. Nice and quick. Do our crankshaft pulley, idler roller, water pump, serpentine belt B, belt tensioner. It'd be good for us to go like this, put this back on. We've only got the one part, so it should just automatically put on the one part, or maybe even set it to um, automatically put on the best part possible. So the job is done. We've done that. So we've got $910 spent. Task bonus $855. Job bonus $440. Total pay $2,205. Job is done. Job is complete. Rightio. Quickly look at our inventory. And sell some things. We're not going to make much money out of these things. $18, $22, $43. So not too bad. So we've got $5,343. So I've made $13.43 out of this first episode. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button as always. Leave a comment and let me know what you think of the game if you've got it. If you haven't got it, are you going to get it? Are you interested in watching this series? Uh, that's something I really want to do. Something I'm really excited about. So hopefully you guys are excited too. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It's been Brito's Gaming. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.